Hey everyone and welcome back to Online Tech Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about a fantastic feature on your Mac that can help you stay super organized. Tags. If you've ever struggled to find a file or wanted a better way to categorize your documents, this video is for you. So let's look at how you can add tags to files on your Mac and why you should start using them today. So what exactly are tags? Think of them as digital labels or stickers that you can attach to any file or folder on your Mac. They add a touch of color and make your items stand out, helping you categorize and find them easily later on. Tags are especially useful when your finder starts to look like a labyrinth of files. Instead of digging through folders, you can simply click on a tag and see all the related items at once. It's a simple yet powerful way to keep your digital life organized. Adding tags is super easy, so here's how you can do it. Open Finder and locate the file or folder you want to tag. Then, using the menu bar, click on File in the menu at the top of the screen. In the drop-down menu, you'll see colored dots next to the word Tags. Click on the color you want to assign. You can also right-click or control-click on the file or folder, hover over Tags in the context menu and then select your desired color. Another option can be done while saving a new file. When saving a new file, look for the Tags field in the Save dialog box. Click on it and choose a tag from the list. You can also simply drag your file or folder into a tag in the Finder sidebar to assign the tag. There are also keyboard shortcuts. Select your file and then press Ctrl plus 1 through Ctrl plus 7 to add or remove tags. Ctrl plus 0 removes all tags. You can even select multiple files and tag them all at once. It's that easy. If you need to remove a tag, no problem. In Finder, select the file or folder and then using the menu bar, click on File and then under Tags, click on the Active tag to remove it. You can also right-click on the item, and then under Tags, click on the tag color to remove it. If the item has multiple tags, you can remove just one without affecting the others. Customizing your tags can make them even more effective. To do this, open Finder and expand the Tag section in the sidebar. Right-click on the tag you want to edit. Select a new color for the tag, or rename the tag, giving it something that's more descriptive for your needs. You can remove a tag entirely by using the delete function if you no longer need it. Personalizing your tags helps you align them with your workflow and the specific language you use in your job. If you want to do more comprehensive tag management, click on Finder in the menu bar and then select Settings or Preferences. Then go to the Tags tab. Here you can do a couple of things. You can add a new tag by clicking the plus button and naming a new tag. You can delete a tag by selecting it and clicking the minus button. You can rearrange tags by dragging them up or down, and you can choose to show or hide tags in the sidebar by checking or unchecking the boxes next to the tags. You can also set favorite tags for quick access by dragging tags into the favorite section at the bottom. Now that you've tagged all your files, finding them again is a breeze. You can use the finder sidebar. Simply click on the tag in the sidebar and all items with the tag will appear regardless of where they're stored on your Mac. You can also use the search bar Type the tag's name or color into the Finder search bar. You can select the tag from the suggestions to view all associated items. You can also group by tag. In Finder, go to View, Sort by, Tags. This will organize all your files by their tags. These methods makes locating your files faster and much more efficient, assuming you've tagged everything diligently. Tags are an incredibly useful feature that not enough people use on macOS. Whether you're juggling work documents, personal photos, or school projects, tagging helps keep everything organized and easy to find. If you have any questions or want to share how you use tags, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.